Hello my crafty friends! I'm back with another Thanksgiving card and once again I have made a tower pinwheel card. This one is larger than A2 folded. It is 7 inches by 5 inches. Fits in an A7 envelope for mailing. And of course they fold completely flat but open up and stand beautifully for display. I love that about these cards. I started off with patterned paper from Prima called Amber Moon. This is an A4 sized pad of paper. I've had it for a couple of years. I believe I got it at Paper Pastimes in Calgary, Alberta. And I know that some single sheets in the 12x12 are still available. And if I can find them, I will link them for you on my blog, which will be in the description box below. Normally, I really kind of play with the papers, but this one I kept quite simple. I put the striped panel on each of the narrower flaps and this really pretty vintage rose and pumpkin pattern paper on each of the right hand flaps. And the cut aparts are all again from the paper pad. I matted them on gold foil cardstock for some shimmer and shine. If you follow me, you know I love shimmer and shine on a card. Now these two, the pumpkin love and the fall in love, both of those cut aparts had the white printing on the patterned background but they were very subtle. So I outlined each of the letters with a gray Copic marker and you can see that that really kind of made them pop. The gold foil cardstock and the copper, it's all from Recollections and for something like this cute little acorn, that doesn't require a very big piece. So I do keep a lot of smaller scraps for my foiled or specialty papers because then you can use them for little things like that. And speaking of the acorn and the pumpkin, they come from Karen Bernison's Autumn Elements. And the acorn is in two pieces. The pumpkin does the score lines and it shows up really nicely when you cut them into a foil paper. The leaf is also from the Autumn Elements. And the stamp that I stamped here is an older retired set from Reverse Confetti called Give Thanks. So I stamped that and added another acorn there. There were some little strips left over of the gold when I was cutting my mats, so I added them on the left hand side just either as a strip or a fishtail banner. It was quick and easy to put together. I'm actually filming this at the end of September and the Canadian Thanksgiving is coming up real fast here and if I don't get it sent for this year then I will have it to send for next year. If you enjoyed my video please give the card a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.